So hey again, well, I'm going to be doing this uh, daily quest for what's called the Texas Crystals. It's just a form of currency that's used to buy specific items. And nothing that I really need anymore, but I'm going to do it anyway because I also get a lot of gold from the bad guys. Uh, basically, I go and assault some random base that's chosen by the, by the system. And today we're assaulting the Pillars of Fate, which is right here. We're walking over there, and then we're going to go and smite a whole bunch of bad guys. And in return, I'm going to get a whole lot of rewards. So, uh, basically, if I attack one place more than three times in a row, they'll uh, assault my base. I'll get an invasion, and I get to do an invasion quest, which also has a lot of rewards involved. So, it's fun. And, uh, yeah, this uh, is show. At the same time, I actually keep it up for their uh, engine, so I just need to uh, you know, queue up for another one instead. So, Raid Finder is a uh, randomly determined raid group that uh, you just basically say, I'm available for this. <laughs> And that's what I get for talking too much. <laughs> so Raid Finder is just a randomly selected group based on the population of people willing to play. It tries to fill the roles of two main tanks, which are the guys that take the aggression of the bad guys. Uh, six healers to heal the tanks and damage dealers, and then 17 damage dealers. So once it's able to find, as you can see, 2, 6, and 17, once it can populate that entire group, then uh, it'll load me in. Basically, it's a weaker version of the raids, the endgame content, 25 man content. So it's relatively easy. And you still have to follow the strategies to a certain extent, but at least I can make a nice little video that's not too frustrating to do two things at the same time with. Um, I actually recorded the video right last night, but I was, uh, I didn't have my microphone on the whole time, so <laughs> all you can hear is my radio speaking. Is kind of funny, so I believe them all. But next week I plan on recording our regular raids just to show you the difference between what raid finder raids are and uh, regular raids are. <laughs> so you can see this bar over here called Pillars of Fate Disrupted. That's the insulting Pillars of Fate. And eventually, once that gets completely tapped, I'll get a reward for it. So, so Shadow Moon works are really evil. They've been corrupted by demonic magic, and they try to harness the power of darkness and the void to, well, uh, not necessarily destroy the world, but shut it off. So I'm gonna kick their butts. Yeah, that's nice. Likes a polar bear to the face. Uh, uh, who's there? Polar bear in the face.
Ooh, they got a jade cap. I like my obsidian. Right now. that the spell probably isn't active and I just do it out of instinct uh, sometimes just like oh I wish I could do that right now but I can't it's still fun honestly if anything I wish I had one of those special mice that have buttons all over it because you can see basically at the very bottom bar is all my spells that are connected to hotkeys one through equals so I can click them easily Anything on the top bar here or on the side bars here? Well, I have to click those manually. Kind of sucks. But, yeah, I've been doing it for years, so it's not that big of a deal. You just gotta know what buttons to press. Me. A lot of people be like, oh, that's not the perfect button sound. How are you having fun if you're always doing the exact same routines all the time? It's like the music. It's really fun. Yeah, I can do the perfect set of routines and I'm going to use that as fast as I can. Totally wrong button. Bad hunter, bad. So that ability that I was casting during that, this little white tiger face, is actually called uh, Aspect of the Pack. And it gives a 35% walking speed boost to everyone around me, but if they get hit, they get dazed, which is really, really bad.
I'm gonna write a book one day saying Thousand One called The Thousand One Reason Why It's Glorious to Be a Hunter. All I had to do was sit back and watch my poet my working car. It was pretty cool. I'm not as cool as a werewolf riding a motorcycle. That big hydra is actually not something. So just like I have my pet, I also have this ability called Fire Beast, which uh, summons an appropriate beast based on the zone that I'm in. In this case, I do have a hydra. And it's only like once every uh, 30 seconds and lasts for 15 seconds. So it's not a common pet, but it's really fun. Now that yellow tiger head that I cast is called Aspect of the Cheetah, and that only focuses on myself. So if I get hit, yeah, I'm gonna get dazed, but who cares? That's why I got my phone. I'm just pretending I'm dead. <laughs> my polar bear died. This is really hard. I don't even know what I'm This gives me access to the void world. see this timer over here. Once this runs out, I'll be sent back to the regular world. But the moment I enter one of these big bubbles, it'll refresh that.
that void east is going to be my next contestant. He's got a lot of little minions around him, and that's going to be a problem. So there's usually a rare elite guy here that I can defeat, but he's not here, so I can't defeat him. I'm just going to wait for that big puppy to come back to me. I'd actually finish disrupting this place before I finish. Or finish disrupting before I turn beast, but there we This never happened before, I don't know what's going on. I have a spell on me, two minutes power over one, which transformed into a void amalgamation. There's something on top of your head. So you can see I can also get uh, Texas Crystals off just the guys too. And uh, there I just died. Oh, there's another rare lead. So you can see he has this silver dragon around his label. That means there's a rare lead. So there's elite dudes, there's regular dudes. Okay, these are regular dudes. Uh, elite dudes have the gold dragon, which just means they're tougher for their level than usual, and rare elites mean they're one of a kind, and they usually have special items that they're carrying. Some of the time, though, they just don't really carry special stuff with them. In this case, I know in these zones there's always rare elites around, and they carry these things called primal spirits, which you can see here, primal spirit. They also carry Apexus Shards. So Primal Spirits are another kind of uh, currency that's used to buy trade resources, like the stuff that I can make in my town or my garrison, but um, I save them up just in case I need them for a rainy day. So when I die, I'm a ghost. I can go back to my body and resurrect, or I can resurrect back at the graveyard at that spirit healer. You saw that big, big angel-y looking ghost. The only problem with that is my gear takes some damage, and then for 10 minutes I'm really weak. So I don't do it generally. I'm just going to go back to my garrison. 
Oh, okay, Raid Fighter should be starting. <coughs> so I'm gonna stop this video right away and then just wait for Raid Finder to start another one. So that's what a daily mission is like. Now there's a whole bunch of them. There's like what can orcs I and ogres and a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, I got an invasion! Okay, so like I said, if I do three of the same uh, daily in... It doesn't matter in span, it's just once you hit three of that same location, you're gonna get one of these invasions. And I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm getting into this raid. So I'm gonna start another video for the raid.